Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. It was just some hours ago that you were back to Latifa Didimeji and Bimpo Yibadi caused serious chaos and set the internet ablaze. As Latifa Didimeji and Bimpo Yibadi wished everyone happy new month. And Latif says happy new month for me and mine. However, some people who do not believe that they are married went ahead to beg Latifa Didimeji to please marry Bimpe Uyibadi. While ignoring the doubters, Latifa Didimeji flaunts his wedding ring and praised his wife, Aya Adetola. Bimpo Yibadi is a popular Yuba actress and she's also a model and the CEO of Mo Luxury by Ade at the feet and shades of Mo Beauty. These two are working their way up to be one of the power couples we have in Nigeria entertainment industry. I think the images latest movies are Checkmate, Sugar Rush, Black Bratsu, Bipolar, Eso, Duduke, Obairo, Ugudu, Emeka, Orilomo, Mask, Every Woman, Broken Fate, Dreams, Ejiwuro, Aweli Shears, 3, A Day to Remember, Lash Your Tongue, Uh-huh, Adiraju The Guide, Uh-huh, Oshubaje, Ifewere, Binobaku, Money, Over the Phone, Shuboka, Hirakata, Ayoibiyawu, Omomose, My Best Friend, Damaged, Ogbaraeje, Akwaja Ofe, Ibere Meta, Akara Obuko, Olokiki, Dara, Akabami, Enyiju, The Guide, Temini, Ashishe Meji, Onile Owo, Onibara, Omoba Dubai, and Bokiri Olano, among others. What do we know about this power couple? Latifa Didimeji has also backed many awards over the years, including 2016 Best of Nollywood Awards for Best Actor in a Lead Role Yoruba, 2015 Best of Nollywood Awards for Best Actor in a Lead Role Yoruba as well, City People Entertainment Awards for 2016 Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yoruba, Heritage Award in Atlanta for Best Actor Award for his role in Kudi Clip 2, Odua Movie Awards for Best Actor Award in 2014 and 2015 respectively, City People Movie Award for Best Actor of the Year Yoruba, 2018. And this year, Yemash does the male actor of the year for Fresh Awards. And he actually beats top actors such as Odunla Kola, Femi Adebayo, Kuli Afford, Damola Latunji, and Muiwa Adumola, among others. And on the other hand, some of Bimpo Yibadi's movies include Perfect Romance, Just Married, Better Pews, Le Consi Kiton, Ife Ufe, Status, Different Religion, Alake Abane, Ade Bimpo Yomoba, Resentment, Ed Wokan, Shalewa, Ashewole Ki, Suspect, Hidden Wound, and Kosife, among others. She was also nominated for City People Movie Award for Best New Actress of the Year, Yoruba. She's one of the actresses that got famous right from the very first movie role that she played. She's also popularly known as Ade Bimpe Omoba and M.O. Bimpe. She's also a popular model. Latif Ade Dimeji is one of the outstanding actors that we have in Nigerian entertainment industry. And this is because he often switches between different characters. Actually, this young man built different characters before he even became famous. The fact is that according to Latif, you can't wear or stay in one character for a long period of time. People will get bored. I would want to see you in another one. So he has built enough characters that can last him for another 30 years in this movie industry. As soon as one character is out of touch, he switches into another character. So if a person is lucky to have like 5 characters that can stand the test of time for another 40 or 50 years, then that person is going to remain relevant for a long time. So Latif actually took out his time in building himself on a lot of characters because he realized that when fame comes, it might get a little bit, it might get a little bit busy for him. So he did all this before he became famous. And Latif is also gifted when it comes to affecting people's emotions. Well, he once stated that he got his training before he joined the movie industry with an NGO, a non-governmental organization. And he was trained when he was in secondary school. He started his training back in secondary school when the NGO would visit schools to pick some of their best students. And they would take them to the organization for proper training. At that time, getting information across to the grassroots people was always a difficult task. So the NGO would go to secondary schools, pick the students and train them on 18 different topics. They would make them go through these topics to become a peer educator and counselor. So that was where it all started for Latif. So it wasn't theater per se that he started with. From that time, he built a passion for affecting people. It was not the acting that got Latif going at that time, but the fact that he would be able to impact knowledge in other people. At that young age, he was just 15. When he joined. After leaving the institution, he produced his very first movie, Oshiregi, 
and he had veteran actors like Yinka Kodri, Fiti Abalogu, the late Buki Ajayi, Bisiko Malafi, and Joshua Ojo, who is moving Fuji House of Commotion. Atifa Didimeji started acting at a young age of 15. And as they say, the journey was not easy from the beginning. In fact, he once got paid 10,000 or 15,000 or for movie roles, even playing the lead role. And he was even paid a ridiculous amount of 4,000 or for another movie that he paid that he played the lead role. This movie was shot in Eloran, where he spent about 10 days on location. Latif once mentioned that it was really hard coping at that time. He remembers he would go back home to ask his father and mother for money, and they would ask him what he had been doing on location for weeks if he was not going to be paid. At that time, they were expecting him to be taking care of his younger siblings, but he was there still asking them for money for transportation to locations. Well, as they say today, the rest is history. These have become some of the top actors we have in Nigerian entertainment industry. Also in an interview last year, Latif hinted that we'll be hearing about his wedding bills, but then only a few people would hear about it when it happens, because he's not under pressure to settle down, even though his parents want him to settle down early. But then he has to be careful about who he wants to spend the rest of his life with, because if he gets it wrong at this stage, it might spoil the end of his career. So he cannot afford to marry somebody who does not understand the industry or how it works. Today, Latifa Didimeji has several mouth-watering endorsement deals, including his deal with Eto, which is one of the biggest telecommunication companies we have in Nigeria. Latifa Didimeji has been on stage since the age of 15, but then started acting professionally in the year 2007, when he landed his very first major role in the movie Kudi Klepto, which was produced by the Versailles Yuba actress Yuwande Adekoya. This was also the movie that shot him to the limelight. And his career has grown rapidly since then. And for Bimpe Oyebadi, the very first movie she featured in, which is Crossroads, produced by the version Yoba actor Yomi Fabiyi, was also the movie that shot her into the limelight. And since then, she has featured in several other movies, as mentioned earlier. Adi Dimeji and Bimpe Oyebadi acted as a couple in the year 2019 for the movie Adi Bimpe Omoba. And that is not the only movie that they have acted as a couple. So, for the fans and Nigerians in general, we do not believe that. These two are indeed married. They are begging them to please do the needful and marry each other. Broke the internet four months ago. But then these two didn't come out outrightly and say that they are indeed married. And a lot of fans and even their colleagues are asking questions. Are these two indeed married? The two of them were gorgeously dressed in wedding outfits. And they shared these lovely photos on their social media platforms which actually broke the internet. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let us know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.